Hello, this is your girl Fosology, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. I'm on VU today, and I'm going to teach you guys how to add designer logos or just designer textures to your clothing. Now, a subscriber of mine asked if I could do a video like this, and I said, yeah, sure, because it's very simple. Now, I decided to go with Sal's leather pants and they may not look the best but they are very cheap to derive from so i'm going to show you guys exactly how i did that now i chose sal because sal's stuff is very simple and it's super cheap 379 credits to derive that's not bad all right now let's look when you go here you scroll down you click on texture and texture two. So texture one will be the front and texture two will be the back. It's very simple, just save those. You can save the UV maps if you need that. If you wanna make these pants into shorts, the UV maps is what you will need. Scroll down here, the product ID number is below or you can click derive from product. Either way, it's very simple. What I do when I want to find designer logos, I type in designer logos PNG or I type in the exact designer. So I would put LV PNG transparent or I'll put Adidas PNG transparent just so I can find the logos that have no background in it. And sometimes you will find logos, but they will have a background and you would have to remove that background. Now, if you check out my other video on removing backgrounds to make your logos transparent that will help you as well but this is what I normally do if I see this I would right click or I'll just download it myself but I'll right click and just get rid of the background myself if I feel like it it's a lot more work but it's worth it in the end because sometimes these logos are so nice and you want to put them on your clothing the Chanel background there you go and then the Adidas one. and some of these are free so just keep that in mind clip art library this one's a, it's really free some stuff will say free but it's not really free so just keep that in mind as well also if you decide to use these logos do not name your pants or whatever your shirt what the logo is because again I have gotten banned for doing that now a lot of people still do it anyway and a lot of those creators they'll eventually get banned or they just won't i don't know but i don't know if vu singled me out as a creator or because i was a new creator and i was doing it and i was gaining popularity that way i don't know but i'm just saying if you're going to use these just keep that in mind that there is a risk that your account will get taken from you and i'm just giving you that so just do not name it what it is so if you put some adidas pants you want to do adidas jeans or whatever you want to use their logo do not put adidas jacket as you know do not just don't put the actual what the logo is called do not put it in to the description just don't do that just name it sports jacket or something like that like i got around it by doing it like that you can get around it as well. If it's something Chanel, do not name it Chanel. Don't even name it CC. Just, you could call it designer. <laughs> That's what I do. But, um, yeah, so just keep that in mind. How I get the LV texture backgrounds, I just type it in. LV texture backgrounds under images. And just scroll down. And you can get ones that look super authentic like this this really looks authentic let's just say you want to use that on a on a cell phone or some sort or a bag this would be the one to go to but there's different ones they also have these where the background is removed I sometimes keep the background in there but just just know that it's better to do what you feel is right don't do it exactly the way I'm telling you to do it if you don't want to pick these type of designers that's fine 
you want to pick a designer that we've never heard of, that's even better because you can make that popular as well. So we are in GIMP and this is what the texture looks like. This is the front and this is the back and these are leather pants. I actually like the texture, so very simple. Now, I'm going to put the designer logo on top. So I'm not even going to recolor it. Open as layers, go to downloads. so many different types of logos. I have the Burberry logo that I don't really use. I have the Gucci logo that I really don't use, but you can get it from Nice PNG, as you can see, if you want to get those logos from there. Then I also have the Snake from Gucci logo, and then I have the LV logo, which I don't really use this one. I use the one, the other ones that I have. But Kind PNG has the, the most stuff. And I stay downloading my stuff from them. There. See? And all I can all I want to do is pretty much make this smaller, but it looks good this way anyway. So I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. I'm gonna do 300 over 600 there just to make it a little smaller and then just gonna move this down some and I'm going to drag this over here and I'll also move this down some as well and then I play with the opacity see you can play with the opacity I don't want it to be too much so I'm just gonna do 3.8 I don't want to get rid of any textures if I go too far 3.8 is where I'm gonna go I'm just gonna layer merge down layer merge down and now I'm going to sharpen so I'm gonna go to enhance sharpen and then sharpen it so I can sharpen it a little bit more if I want to. So do it a little bit more. Press OK, and then over here I go Filters, Repeat, Sharpen. And then File, Overwrite, Export. File, Overwrite, Export. Now let's go into VU to see what that looks like. We're back in VU. This is the front. This is what it looks like. It's obviously not the best. The pants I chose are kind of super, super like late. So I mean that. I mean these are older, older pants from probably years ago. <laughs> so the texture isn't as good as the pants that are on Sal's stuff now, but hey, it is what it is. So what happens when you want to <laughs> find a cheap person to derive from. But this is what it looks like. Now I'm going to remove all this and we're going to pick a different logo. Undo, edit, undo, 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 pretty much undo everything there. It's pretty simple. Undo, 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 undo. Now let's go back into the layers. Open as layer. 
try a different layer. The snake. So I'm gonna go layer, scale. I'm gonna put it as 200 just to see what it looks like. I don't know if it's the right size. Okay, it's not bad. It's kind of big. It's more than kind of big. It's actually huge. You know what? I could make it smaller. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go 150. 150 instead. There, much better. And do layer. Actually, I don't even need to. I could just merge it down. Lay a merge down, and then I could just sharpen it. Oops, that's too much sharpen. <laughs> All right, so I go to filters, enhance. Sometimes you got to do filters and enhance. Because sometimes they will over sharpen, like by a lot. That's better. That's okay. And then file overwrite. Save this. All right, let's go into VU. Okay, we're back into VU. You do have to. Apply changes. Very simple. And this is what a lot of people do. They just put it on here, sharpen it a little bit, and they're good to go. You just made some designer jeans. Designer leather jeans. Now you don't need to call it Gucci leather. Do not call it that. Like a lot of these actual designers and they like seek out to see if people are using their logo just so they can sue them. You will get sued or IMVU will get sued and then in return IMVU will take your account. Uh, that's what happened to me. That's what happened to a lot of creators. They had to restart like I did. So I'm not making those mistakes again. Uh, I can use their, their logos, but I'm not saying what the logo is. And I rarely use these type of logos, rarely. Because that's what got me messed up in the first place, using Gucci logos. They're very serious about their stuff. Which... You guys should understand you make something and other people are using what you made but don't credit you or don't like give you any type of money or ask for permission to use it so just understand where they're coming from as well not that i made money off of uh using their logos i made a lot of credits though i made millions of credits using their logos but is it really worth it in the end if you have to start over no this is really what it looks like. This actually looks really good, to be honest with you. But I will show you guys exactly where I download these from as well. So let's go take a look. All you do in Google is type in kind PNG, and this is where I got the PNG quality stuff. So let's just type in Gucci. logo will come up, a couple of logos, actually, shoes, and everything else. This, I would use. Um, this, I would definitely use, and I have used on my other account that I got banned. But, yeah, there's different logos here, and it doesn't have the background to it, so... And this also can give you some ideas on what you want for your shirts and stuff, if you was to use these. Now let's type in Nike as well. Okay, here, these. As well as this, definitely. And these are free to download. You don't have to pay for these. 
but it's kind of cool oh these are really nice see this is what i'm saying you get like inspiration looking at stuff like this okay so you basically get what how, how to do it nike hmm, let's see um what else chanel to make baby clothes and stuff put that on there okay let's see I'll type in the logo or I go to the second page Chanel logo and they'll just come out with the logo so you can do Nike logo as well Gucci logo as well whatever type of designer you decide to use just put logo and these will come up and it's different stuff actually this is really nice use this. <laughs> yeah so there's plenty of things that you can download from here you got Prada as well whatever you decide to use DNG like just be aware be aware that there's possibilities depending on what you name it as for you to get caught do not put Chanel shirt, Chanel earrings, Chanel bag, not necessary. Yeah, so definitely, oh, this is nice, Versace. So they have different logos that you can look for in here. So definitely go to Kind PNG. They have it all. And it's free. You don't have to sign up. You don't have to log in. If you want to sign up, you can. You don't have to. I'm not signed up, as you can see. Like, I'm not. This is free. Go to Kind PNG, and they'll tell you everything that you need to know, I guess. Like, they'll give you everything. Everything you ask for, they'll give you. If not, you can look at other places. If you find something better, but it has a background to it, you can undo the background. But you have to look at my videos to do that. But thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification button so you know exactly when I'm uploading new content. And have a nice day.